okay guys uh welcome back um so i will be going through the list of uh these most affordable community colleges in the united states so in each uh, college i'll be looking at the location the weather the student population the acceptance rate of the school the cost the application proce uh, process yes and the programs that are offered by the school so yeah please uh, stay tuned stay watching and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, the first one is Hutchinson Community College. Uh, it is located in Hutchinson City in the state of Kansas with a population of 42,000 people. And the weather there is minus five degrees Celsius in the winter. It is pretty cold and the summers can get really warm at temperatures going as high as 33 degrees Celsius. And it also gets humid. So this information is supposed to uh, help you decide on what to pack in, in, in terms of clothes when you deciding to enroll in the school. So the student population there is 3,300 students with a student teacher ratio of 18 is to 1, meaning that in every class or in every for every teaching staff, there is uh, 18 students. The acceptance rate is 100% and the cost of tuition is 168 per credit hour. Credit hour is each subject in its, each course. So each subject has one credit. So Hutchinson Community College has 15 credits per semester and 30 credits per year. And so you multiply the 168 by 30 credits to get to 5,040 US dollars per year, which is the total uh, tuition that you're going to pay. So there is additional cost that you have to pay, obviously. Uh, there is, uh, you have to have a place to stay. You have to eat some food. You have some other costs. So total costs are estimated at 12,200 in total, including the tuition fee. So, I mean, you can lower that. I mean, you can pay up to $12,200 if you are staying inside the campus and uh, the campus providing you with some food. So you can lower that by staying off campus because staying off campus has some opportunities. Uh, you can you can actually share apartments with some student whereby you have a chance of splitting the cost of uh, uh, the, the rent cost and food. You can also buy your own food, which becomes cheaper to buy your own food outside the campus instead of uh, having the school provide you with some food. So the application process, there is no application fee at Hutchinson Community College and the application is completed by downloading a PDF from their website and filling filling out this PDF uh, digitally digitally on your computer. You print out that form and then you sign it, scan it, and then email it. Submit it to the admissions department via email. Their email is international at hcc.edu. So the programs that are available there are business, science, agriculture, mathematics, healthcare, and many more. We're gonna look in depth uh, I'm planning to make other videos showing uh, how to navigate the website, uh, how to do the application, and we're going to view all the programs at that time. So the next school is Garden City Community College. Uh, it is located in Garden City in the state of Kansas with a population of 26,000 people. Uh, the winter there is really cold too. It's minus nine. I mean, temperatures go as low as nine, minus nine degrees Celsius. And... In the summer, temperatures can go as high as 25 degrees Celsius, and that is pretty cool. It's it's not as hot as other states. The student population is 1,500 students with a student teacher ratio of 16 is to 1. And the acceptance rate is 100%. So the tuition, it's uh, the cost of tuition is 150 US dollars, 152 US dollars per credit hour and with total of 30 credits per year going up to 4560 per year room and board with 19 meals costs uh 5930 us dollars 
which sum up to 10,490 US dollars, including the tuition costs. So the application process, there is a $150 uh, non-refundable application fee, and you have to pay a $1,000 uh, deposit towards tuition before you get an I-20. An I-20 is a document that you get from the school after all your documents have been approved. That document is a certificate of eligibility. You take that document with you to the U.S. Embassy. That's going to facilitate your application for your F1 student visa to come to the United States to study. So yeah, the application is done online by creating an account and filling an online application form. And the programs that are available there are business science, agriculture, mathematics, healthcare, and many more programs. The next school is Western Nebraska Community College. It is found in Scottsbluff, Nebraska, with a population of 18,000 people. The winter there is brutal, with uh, temperatures going as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius, and the summer is getting very warm at 33 degrees Celsius. Student population is 2,000. Student-teacher ratio is 13 is to 1, with the acceptance rate of 100%. All, I mean, almost all these uh, community colleges have a 100% acceptance rate as long as you make sure that you submit all the required documents uh, to the school. So the cost of tuition in this school is pretty much cheaper uh, with uh, 127 uh, US dollars per credit hour with 30 credits, uh, summing up to 3,810 uh, per year. And room and board is pretty expensive with uh, 8,000 US dollars for your room and for meals. The good thing about this school that it has good financial assistance and that is provided to you through scholarships. Um, the scholarships obviously do not have to be repaid and are awarded based on academic performance, special talents, activity, particip participation, financial need, community service and other factors. Students can also take advantage of the available work study programs in the school. So this school allows it uh, allows students to be able to like be employed in the school and go to school. Ah, what am I saying? Allow students to be able to work in the school while they attend classes, meaning that their tuition fee will be will be waived and they will get a stipend monthly or bi-weekly, depending on the school. So it makes it easier for the students to afford their living and academic costs. Um, yeah, um, other available financial assistance include student loans and grants. So the application process, you have to register online for an account and complete an online application form and then submit. There is no application fee and you have to submit uh, this application along with the supporting documents which include your passport oh uh, by the way before you can even think about applying to any of these colleges you must make sure that you have an international passport the passport that is going to let you uh, go into the united states as a, as a student so yeah you submit a copy of your passport a copy of your secondary school transcripts diploma uh, and you submit a copy of your bank statement showing uh, at least fifteen thousand US dollars or equivalent. That is going to that is going to prove that you'll be able to support yourself while you're attending the school, or a sponsor statement if you have a sponsor or a scholarship. So you also have to submit a proof of English uh, proficiency, English language proficiency, if English is not your first language, and the acceptance test. The accepted tests in this school are TOEFL test, IELTS, and ITEP. So depending on your English language proficiency, you might be required to take some English classes before you actually enroll in your pro in your specified program. So keep that in mind. The programs that are available in this school are business, science, agriculture, mathematics, healthcare, and much more. The next school is Northeast Community College. I'm going to try and move faster to prevent the video from being too long. Northeast Community College, which is found in Norfolk, Nebraska, with a population of 24,000 people, with brutal winters with going as low as minus 12 degrees Celsius, and the warm summers going as high as 31 degrees Celsius. Student population is 2,700, with a student-teacher ratio of 16 is to 1, 
Acceptance rate is 100%. Cost of tuition is 167 per credit hour. With a total of 30 credits per year. So the application process involves um, a student having to fill an application form and then send it via email to the admissions team. And you have to submit a copy of your passport, your copy of your secondary school transcript, provide any pro previous college transcripts. If you went to university and graduated, you have to provide that transcript. Submit an English language proficiency, which is TOEFL test. Um, then provide a written verification that you have 16,000 US dollars available in form of a bank statement if you don't have a scholarship. So the I-20, the document that I talked about earlier, is going to be issued by the school if all these documents are submitted and up approved. So you will also have to pay a I-901 online before you can go to your to, to the embassy for your visa interview which is uh, known as the service fee. That, that's uh, Anyway, we're going to discuss about this in detail when I uh, post a video about the process of or what you have to do before you apply, before you attend your visa interview. So yeah, the programs that are offered in this school are in agribusiness, agronomy, biology, business, construction, uh, nursing, and medical aid, and much more programs. So the last college, the cheapest college, uh, community college, is Cloud County Community College. It is located in the state of Kansas in a city known as Concordia with a population of 5,000 5, people. It is a small city with very cold winters, minus 8 degrees Celsius, and warm summers at 32 degrees Celsius. Student population of 1,200 people, I mean students. Student teacher ratio at 11 is to 1. It's, it's a very small school. The acceptance rate there is 100% and the cost of tuition is 119 per credit hour, 119 US dollars per credit hour. That is by far the cheapest school in this list. And it has 24 credits per year, which takes us up to 2,856 US dollars per year. And room and board too is the most cheapest, I mean the least expensive in this list at 5,460 US dollars for room and for meals in the school. Students have an option of living off campus, which becomes cheaper. The application process, there is no application fee required. You complete an online application, application form and submit a complete pocket of the required documents via email to the admissions team. These documents include an official copy of high school diploma or your metric certificate and other copies of complete uh, high school uh, transcripts, copy of your passport, English language proficiency test, and proof of funds of 11,000 US dollars. The programs there are agriculture, business, communications, education, healthcare, mathematics, science, and much more. So I'm going to make a video going through the website of each of these schools, showing the details about um, the application and the uh, programs that are available. So yeah. And another thing, I'll be posting links on to the description of this video, links to this web, the website of the schools. And so please do visit uh, the links to get further information. And I will also compile a video. Uh, yeah, what I just said, I'll compile a video on the website. And yeah, this is the end of the video. So please do subscribe and yeah, I guess I will see you next time. Peace.